Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. You know, one of the big things these days is concealed carry, self-defense. And there are a ton of options out there. What's the bottom line? What do we all want for concealed carry? We want as small as possible, okay? We want to be able to just put it in our pockets. That means it needs to be light, not pulling our pants down. Um, we want reliable. We want stopping power. Or we want something that will actually be effective. Uh, now, for years, in fact, most of my life, I never considered the 380. And I'll be honest, one of the biggest things why I didn't consider the 380 was the cost of ammo was actually a lot of times the same or more than the 9 millimeter, and yet it didn't have as much punch. And so I thought, why would I even go with that? Um, for a lot of reasons. So recently, I've done a couple reviews with the LCP. You know, one is just simply the LCP max itself and then the other was the 380 auto for self-defense and i took you know some of hornady's critical defense and american gunner and i did the ballistic data on that and you're going to want to see that video but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take sort of the meat and the potatoes and condense it all down from those two videos and put it into this and then on the comments on some of those reviews i was seeing some question about reliability. And so what I wanted to do, what I've been wanting to do was a torture test with the LCP. That way we've got everything that we possibly want to know about this for concealed carry and the possibility for us for self-defense. So after I show you that information, what I wanna do the bulk of this is to torture test this. I wanna put a thousand rounds through it. I do have some different ammo, um, you know, sort of a, instead of a round nose, sort of the flat, it's not a wad cutter, but that's gonna give us more opportunity to test reliability. I've got some more self-defense rounds that we're gonna just double check, make sure we don't have any feed issues. And let's see, you know, if we have any issues with the thousand rounds, we'll go as long as we can without cleaning it and see what happens. Now, at the same time, we're gonna test this Viridian E-Series, the green laser. For me, personally, I think this is an absolute must with something like this. You know, the sights, eh, they're okay. You know, this way you get to have your cake and eat it too. I've got the iron sights and I've got the laser. I turn them on and it's basically sort of a, you know, a double redundancy. Anyway, we'll torture test that while we're torture testing the gun. All right, you know what? Enough talking, let's just get to it. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you honest product reviews, no podium, no pulpit, and definitely no politics. Let's just stick to the review itself. Now, real quick, special thanks to Natchez. Yeah, I'm wearing their shirt because they just provided the thousand rounds of ammo for doing this torture test. Um, if you're not familiar with Natchez, they are a huge company. They've been around a long time. I remember them um, way back when I was a kid seeing ads. You know, they cover everything that's outdoors, hunting, fishing, shooting. You know, one of the biggest things is, is reloading. And if you're a reloader, you're already familiar with Natchez. But if not, you're going to want to check them out. Now, they do not sell firearms. They don't sell guns. Okay, so I can actually provide links, but they sell everything outdoors. Um, the ammo that I chose from Natchez is ammo that I see a lot at great prices. So that's why I specifically chose the ammo that they provided. I have got uh, a webpage and an email blast called Crazy Stupid Deals. And anyway, the ammo that I'm using today, I have actually blasted out many times. Anyway, special thanks again to Natchez. Now, those that say the 380 doesn't have stopping power or punch, well, it's got a lot more than the 22 long rifle. And again, we're not talking law enforcement, guys. We're not talking tactical, we're not talking through, you know, shooting through car doors and stuff. This is for self defense. The whole point of this, the 380, in my opinion, is it's in my pocket and I'm going to be at a short distance um, defending myself, okay? When we look at the ballistic data, I don't know about you, 
but for me, it works just fine. And we don't have the uh, reliability issue that people have with the 22 long rifle with the rim fire. We have a center fire and yeah, anyway, check out some of the data here that I did on the other ones and you know, see if that changes your mind and then let's do the torture test. <laughs> Literally my first shot, I think, and then, you know, kind of, yeah, I wasn't paying too close attention, got focused. That's sweet, guys. You know, at 20 feet. Okay, let's try again quick with the denim. A quick note on the Remington, the 88 grain jacketed hollow point. Uh, what I had for average penetration was 17. So on the first gel block we had, you know, we had two that just passed completely through it. So that, you know, it was 16 plus. But then on these four, we actually measured them now. Okay, so none of these expanded. This is the one that has the denim, and the other one is exactly the same. You'll, you'll be able to see the denim wad in there, and this is the one without the denim. So, you know, as far as expansion, nah, I don't think I'd recommend these for self-defense, although they did have good penetration, but you could get the same thing uh, with just a full metal jacket. was interesting, though. I think three out of the four actually ended going butt first, so it'd be nice if I had a super high-speed camera. I'm guessing they did a little bit of tumbling. But anyway, as far as self-defense, guys, in a hollow point, I don't know that this would be my first choice. Now, I was really glad to have this because I have actually included this on a whole lot of crazy, stupid deals when I found some killer prices on this. And this is just, you know, their range bucket, full metal jacket, um... Okay, so in the comments from the previous ones, I did see, and I have read a lot of concerns, whatever, about reliability, which is why I wanted to do this. Now, this hasn't been altered or anything. This is simply straight from the factory. Um, I got my hands on it. Let's just see what it does with a thousand rounds and see if we have any issues. Okay, so you guys know when you get a great big bag of Doritos, the bag is huge and you're like, sweet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, apparently, that is a very common marketing um, tactic. Okay, real quick, before I get the barrel too dirty, I want to just try proper self-defense. You know, assuming because you would have these loaded, I would assume with a clean gun versus... You've got these in there and you're carrying after putting 500 rounds, you follow. So let's just quick fire these off and then we'll just start doing some ammo dump. Okay, let's start off with the Hornady. The, what do we got? Critical defense here. We've, we're just going to dump this whole box. Now, real quick, folks, if you guys are not familiar with my crazy, stupid deals, go to my webpage. It's an email blast you sign up for. I find crazy, stupid deals on ammo guns you know, everything related to shooting. It costs you nothing. You can unsubscribe at any time. Read the comments. People love it. They hate it because they end up spending a lot of money. Now, I also have the same thing on my X page. Um, this, you know, you can just go to, and as I'm finding the deals throughout the day, I'm posting them on X, especially time sensitive. Some of the, you know, crazy, stupid deals I find go out of stock really fast. You're going to want to check them out. Anyway, back to the review.
Okay, so we're gonna do the American Gunner. And again, you know, people that have concerns about the hollow point, so we got 25 rounds of this. Let's see if we have any issues. Okay, so I want to try the Federal. This is their new American Eagle. It's a 70 grain. It's lead free. Now it does have kind of a flat nose. And that has actually given me problems sometimes in other guns with sort of that flat. Um, I fired off a few. There's been a few that were sluggish to initially go in, but I, I've already fired off 50 rounds. Let's do some more. It does have a funny smell. <laughs> you can hear them dropping like rain. So now let's try the Remington bulk ammo. It's got a nice round nose. We shouldn't have any feed issues with that whatsoever. Okay, let's just try iron sights here. Okay, you can see no laser here. I'm not putting my hand over to the, the muzzle. All right, let's give this a go. Right, so there we are at 400 and about 75 rounds. Um, going to take a little break here. So far, have not had one single jam failure to extract. Nothing. Not a thing. 475 rounds. Okay, we're getting down to less than the final 300 rounds. So we've done, well, yeah, we've done about 700 rounds, have not had any issues. You know, I had a couple of the f flangible ones that have sort of the flat head. Um, I wouldn't say failure to feed, but, you know, we're getting dirty and they just needed a little bit of push. But I'm not going to clean it because, you know, we're down... To these and I just want to see you know how how many we can go Hey, we're down to the last 50 rounds. I'm not gonna lie, guys. My hands, my hand is sore. This thing, it's got some recoil. I mean, we we've done a lot of rounds through this. 
Okay, I got a little blister on my trigger finger, but I do like it. You know, it, it's got a little snap to it. I also put sight paint on here. Um, I just, without it, I really don't like the iron sights. But we're down to the last 50. We're going to test our green laser and make sure that that is still on. Yeah, see that? That was a slow, slow getting dirty. Now, one thing, if you're not familiar with the LCP, is the rounds go straight up and they drop down on your head. <laughs> it's raining shell cases. Last 20, guys. Final 10. There you go, guys. Okay, guys, if you're still with me, that is 1,000 rounds. I did not have any issues. With the flathead, I had some sluggish... Um, on the feeding, it getting dirty and hanging up and then just, just needing a nudge. Other than that, once it was chambered, other than those few, never once while firing had a failure to feed, failure to eject, nothing. Also, let's not forget that gave a really solid torture test for this Viridian, the E-Series. That was impressive. Um, you might want to check that out. Me personally, I would not do this gun without the laser. There you have it, guys. You know, I don't know what else to share or to tell you about the 380. You decide what you think. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, if so, hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, uh, remember to educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that we're on the range, everybody's watching us. That makes us ambassadors, willing or unwillingly, for the Second Amendment. So do us all a favor. Don't be stupid. Be a responsible gun owner and a good ambassador for the Second Amendment.